What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another toy hunt. We're going to start things off at Books A Million. I had some success the last time I was there, so let's head inside and see what we can find. All right, what do we got pop-wise? There's Willie Nelson. I have not seen this one yet. That looks like Willie. Got Jam Master J. Mm, salt and pepper. What else we got? We got some minions. There's the uh, Dracula Pops right there. I actually have the red one. There's Van Helsing. Very cool. I don't think I'm going to be getting all of those, but we got to look a little bit, right? There's Daniels. That's cool. Let's see. Let's see what we can find. Frank Cool. Right, let me look through these and I'll be right back. All right, so I went through these, didn't see too much, but I did find Vlad, so that was cool. Over here, Michael Scott, we do got eastbound and down, there's Kenny. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. So we got Michael Burnham. And this is the first time I've seen Cheru, so that's a really cool looking pop. Um, grief and some cyberpunk stuff. There's He Man. There's Community. And got some Dune. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, we got Rotor Skate and Stewart. That's Warhammer, Brittany, uh, Spyro. Check this out. We got Dilbert. I may actually grab him. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm going to look see if there's another one. This box is sort of janky, but um, Apex, and that's it for Pops, guys, so I will see you here in a bit. All right, what well, we got figures-wise? There's Peter B. Pegwarmer. Um, got Deadpool. There's Black Widow. We got Candyman. Silence of the Lambs, Sugar Man Wave, got Wonder Woman, I need to do a review on this one, and if you haven't seen my customized uh, Batman yet, this is what it used to look like, huh. that is just crazy weird looking, but in a cool way. Um, Napoleon Dynamite right there. Uh, around here on the other side. We got Scarecrow right there. And Omega. And the last night Batman. That's a Joker. Got the Crow. That's a good head sculpt and Mystique, some last airbender, Got some John Wicks. I don't know, this is I love this movie. If you haven't seen Black Hole, you need to check it out. Maximilian is uh, an interesting robot, John Wick. All right, let's see what else we can find. 
Well, we got some DC down here, some uh, little minis. We also got Scarlet and Roadblock. And we got the Witcher. I actually do like this figure. It is cool. Got Annabelle back there. Oh, got another Roadblock. And we got Storm. There's Biff. Got these Street Fighter figures, which are actually not too bad. What do we got over here? There's Tesla and Albert. Got the Mountain. Game of Thrones. How many people actually miss watching Game of Thrones? So, let's see what else I can find. Well, wrapping things up at the old books a million. And, uh, yeah. It was okay. I mean, there was nothing there that uh, I needed. I've got all the Bane Builder figure pieces. So, didn't have to worry about those. Um, but, yeah, pop-wise, really good selection of pop. Willie Nelson, that was really cool. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I was happy, you know, I was happy to actually uh, give it a visit, no chases, but hey, so I think what I'm going to do is, uh, GameStop is right here in the same plaza, I'm not sure if uh, my buddy Drew's working the day, but, uh, I'm still looking for some of those concept pops, maybe they'll have them, but, uh, R2-D2 and C-3PO, but, uh, yeah. Next stop, GameStop. All right, let's check out some Funko Pops. There's Modoc. Got the Rock and Sockins. There's Leatherneck. Uh, Mithril. What in the world? Sean the Sheep, right there. <laughs> What else we got? DMC, DMC. Got the Masters. There's old Jimmy from League of Their Own. We got the McDonald's right there. Um, there's Bluto. Ooh. Miles Morales in the 2020 suit. Miles in the advanced tech suit. That actually looks really cool. We got Miles in the programmable matter suit. And Miles in the cat suit. Very cool. And got Carnage. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, guys, let's take a look over here. There's Wonder Woman, Superman, got Cobra Commander, Peter B. Peg Warmer, there's Gun Ho, um, got Power Rangers, and very cool, looks like we got the new Apex, got a bunch of those, so yeah. Very nice. Around the corner here, got some Star Wars. Figure down. There's Leia and Han. Got the old uh, trooper right there, Rebel Soldier. Shadow Storm Trooper. That is cool. I, I love those. I've got some of those. So, all right, let's go check out the uh, clearance section. All right, I figured before we hit the clearance section, check this out. There's Thanos right there. Got the battle damage version. We got Thor. Got a few statues here. So, we also got a few more pops. So, Check your game stops. You never know what you might find. But this uh, Thanos actually, Thanos actually does look pretty good. So, 
All right, let's move on. All right, there is a ton back here on clearance. Uh, Weapon X, Spy Master. Uh, we got DC. Uh, Batman right there. We got Power Ranger 2 pack. That is a crazy head scout. Uh, Hydro Man, Iron Man. So definitely check your uh, game stops because they are putting things out on clearance. So, uh, Superman. And what's Batman? This one. Okay. All right. Let's see what else we can do. All right, wrapping things up at GameStop. Uh, Drew was working today, so that was good to see him. Uh, they got a, they had a sale going on, 20% off stuff. Pops were on sale. Um, had a bunch on clearance, but nothing that uh, nothing that I really needed at the moment. The Miles Morales pops, they look really cool. The Snake Eyes helmet, that was... That was pretty legit cool. So, um, so far I'm empty handed, uh, but that's okay. I'm not done yet. I'm actually going to run up to um, Dice Head Games and pick up some Citadel paint. I do not know if I can film in there or not, but uh, it's, it's basically games, Warhammer stuff. They do have some Funko Pops, but I, I don't know. But either way we go, that's where I'm going now, so uh, we'll either have some footage or we'll come back to me talking about what I got at Dicehead Games. But anyway, I will see you in a bit. We got Funko Pops. There's a Chase. Oh, Morales. Morales. Uh, there's Sam. I'm not going to do a whole lot of filming in here because we actually have some people in here playing games, but uh, pretty good to show you a little bit of what they got. So basically, you got comics, got some really cool diorama pieces for the games, which I know nothing about these games, but these are really, really cool. So. I'm going to go find my paint, and I'll be right back. Well, wrapping things up for this uh, toy hunt that turned into a paint hunt. <laughs> um, so we stopped at Books A Million, GameStop. We saw some stuff. Uh, Toy-wise, I uh, didn't see anything that I really needed to get at the moment. Um, I did do, as you saw, a little footage in Dice Head. Uh, there were people actually playing uh, the, the board games and stuff there. So trying to be respectful and not do a whole lot of filming. But it's really a cool shop, but it's mainly for like Warhammer and things like that. They do have some comic books and they do have some Funko Pops. And I think the Funko Pops are maybe Pops that they have bought from individuals. Um, there's a lot of older Pops and things like that. But it's still a cool shop to actually have in my hometown. But, um, I got some paint, so I might as well show you what I got. Um, we got some, uh, I know I'm not going to say this right, N-U-L-N oil, none oil, right there, I don't even know, I don't even know how to say it. Um, the paint I'm actually uh, going for, because I'm wanting to do, uh, repaint a trooper, and I think I got it close. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I was going for uh, this particular color scheme here, which is going to be really hard to see. But it, you know the figure. And I think I got, I think I got it close. This is actually the uh, Averland Sunset. Uh, this may be a little bit more yellowy. But, but I picked up this uh, yellow clear, this... Uh, and it's, um, I don't know, it may, it, I'm thinking this actually is a lot closer 
So this may be the, uh, the route I go right here. So I don't know, but Hey, still two cool colors. I also picked up some, uh, uh, set celestial gray right there. Got some of that. I picked up a, uh, Calendor sky, this blue, because I may do the trooper in blue. And I also picked up some um, Evil Sun Scarlet right there. So I picked up some paint. I got some paint. I got a bag full. Um, I will say this. Um, if you're going to get, I'm new to Citadel Paints. And they're not cheap by, by no means. They are, they're not like the model car paints that I'm used to. I mean, this bag of two, four, six. I mean, that's, that's 40 bucks for some paint. So when you're getting into it, like me, um, I'm buying colors that I think I can use, uh, for not just, not just custom action figures or things like that, but even with some of my diorama stuff, um, it's, it's going, it's going to cost you up front. Um, but I th the beauty of it is the paint goes a long way. It lasts. You don't need a lot on your brush. It it flows great. So I think once you start and getting your your colors and this and that, then it'll turn into you know one color here and maybe another color there. For me, I'm trying to get you know a base built up of some colors that I can use across the spectrum. I do know they make kits. Um, I personally was not interested in getting a kit because the kit paints wasn't what I was wanting. But I will say this, my first round of paints, I've used every one of them and I love them for my uh, Rebel Trooper that I repainted and for the Batman figure I repainted. I used all of them and they're great. And so I'm going to use those with a combination of these. So, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this toy hunt. Empty handed as far as toys, but I got some awesomeness with some Citadel paints and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Did you see anything that interested you? I love hearing comments about what you guys see. Also, if this is your first time on my channel, join our movement, the 21K and 2021 movement. It's easy. All you gotta do is subscribe, turn notifications on, boom, you're part of it. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And always remember, toys and paint can refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time.